So Tom McGee wrote a 2015 Denver Post article saying that Xanis and Samantha McDonald had moved to Costilla County from Alabama two years ago. That means that they had moved to Costilla County in 2013. Then Xanis is going to get convicted of over 20 counts of child abuse, physical and sexual, on October 1st, 2017, to serve a 40-year jail sentence. So who are the friends of these pieces of shit? Xanis and Samantha McDonald, they lived out there. Basically the same kindness that them piece of shit right-wing Nazi motherfuckers showed these child abusing piles of shit. It was the same. They showed them kindness and me not kind. It was the exact opposite. He votes. Xanis and Samantha McDonald lived in Costilla County for five years. 2013, 2014, 2015. 2016, 2017, and we're all pretending that Troy Zinn didn't really know him. Oh, Troy Zinn didn't really know him, you know, but Troy Zinn did know him. Troy Zinn knew him a lot, and Troy Zinn was friends with him. Probably sold him water. So what I'm doing here is I'm kind of looking at what is the extent of the right-wing sovereign movement. When I checked out all the GPS or the GIS stuff, I didn't see Bruce Doucette. Bruce Doucette and Vince Edwards does, does not own property. In Costilla County, not yet, but Troy Zinn says he knows all those guys. He knows all those guys, and he's friends with them, and hey, everybody, everybody's cool with Troy. He owes $2,000 to Susie Lucera. You think he'll pay? You think he'll ever pay up? Susie Lucera doesn't give a shit about being fair to people. Susie Lucera only fucks over the good, honest people. So if you go to Costilla County, and this is a liberal. This is a liberal who paid for his permits and respected the system and respected their laws. I try my damnedest, Jesus fucking Christ. But if you pay your permits, Susie Lucera will just keep raping the shit out of you. She thinks she's got one over on you or some shit. Oh, you're a good man paying for your permits? Well, I got my hooks on you, and I get to just keep on raping you forever and ever. No, that's uh, that's not how shit works, you fucking dumbass piece of shit bitches. Troy Zinn says fuck Susie Lucera, and he owes $2,000, and uh, he'll never pay. So Judge Kim Wood, she was the county judge during those five years. Michael Gonzalez was appointed judge in 2011 by Hinkenlooper. You think they ever feel bad? You guys are supposed to be the captains of the morality squad. You're supposed to be the goddamn chief of the fucking, of the law. The chief of the law. And uh, for five years, those kids got raped. And then for how much, uh, Psycho Burroughs just kept killing people over and over again. How many fucking gangsters are around here? How many gangs are around here? Are these goddamn officials part of the gangs? So what I'm doing here is I'm going to analyze. I'm going to analyze who paid for their permits and who didn't pay for their permits. And I'm going to look at the neighbors because the only people, you should nip this shit in the bud. Ricky Rodriguez arrested that rat bastard. You could have got rid of these Nazi motherfuckers. Get rid of all these Nazi motherfuckers. You're against an American citizen. You don't understand the independence. You don't understand Independence Day. You don't understand why we have the Bills of Rights. No, the Bill of Rights says we have a right to a jury trial, right to a lawyer, and a right to an appeal. And a right to an appeal. But these bitches don't give a fuck. Ann Kelly rolled her eyes to freedom. <clears throat> he believes in freedom. What do you think victims' rights is? Hey, don't compare me to Alonzo Payne. You're the same. You don't give a shit about victims' rights. You don't care about freedoms. And you're a fucking fascist Nazi douchebag. Yeah, I bet you Ann Kelly's going to go arrest Kenny Capen. Yeah, Ann Kelly's going to go arrest Troy and Marcy Zinn for not paying for their permits. They bought their property in 2010. So let's go over the information. And this is what what I'm trying to do here. (coughs) If you have no planning and zoning. (coughs) If you have no planning and zoning, what I'm presuming... You move into my neighborhood and you don't go to planning and zoning. I think you're an unlawful criminal piece of shit. If you move into my neighborhood and you go to planning and zoning, we give you a home welcoming. You're the good guys. We welcome you with wide open arms. The way Christians are supposed to be on paper. So here are the no planning and zoning people, and then here are the people who are planning and zoning. And you know what? The damn Kenny Capen paid for his fucking permits. <laughs> Bastard. So Adam Clayton, he bought his property in 2013. Well, hot diggity dog. 
Adam Clayton could have known those damn McDonald's the whole fucking time. Jacqueline Mitchell knew the fucking... She said she was over their house all the fucking time. Well, why are you trying to murder my dog and be a shithead dickhead to me when you're fucking friends with the Nazi fucking child abusers? Are you a Nazi child abuser? When I asked if Jacqueline Mitchell was a right-wing sovereign and Kelly objected and then Mike Gonzalez fucking upheld it. You don't think being a fucking Nazi matters? If you're a right-wing sovereign, then you say, fucking Michael Gonzalez, you ain't shit, you stupid bitch. You got a little dick and you ain't shit. You're a right-wing sovereign. You sit there and say, Ann Kelly, you are sh you ain't shit. You're a state official. There is no states. It's all America. You ain't shit. You don't have any official capacity. You have no legitimacy. That's who these bitches are fucking defending. Why would they defend people that think that they got no legitimacy? And the people that respect the shit out of them, they don't give a flying fuck about. So let's see here. Adam Clayton, let's see here. He lived there for that much. And actually, I guess this is just about how long they lived there, not whether or not they played for the permits. But I, th I don't think he paid for his permits. So Adam Clayton is sitting there buying water from Troy Zinn. Well, shit, Troy Zinn don't give a fuck about planning and zoning. Don't give a fuck about the laws of Colorado. Don't give a fuck about America. The Bill of Rights, that's law too, right? My guess is if you don't pay for your planning and zoning, you're a criminal bitch. So for 10 years, let's see, 2013, Adam Clayton didn't pay for his permits for goddamn motherfucking 13 years. Troy Zinn and Marcy Zinn said, fuck you cops, fuck you, fuck you, Soto Cruz. I ain't gonna pay for my fucking permits, you stupid bitch. Troy Zinn fucking flips Soto Cruz off every fucking day. I ain't gonna obey your stupid ass Costilla County laws, you stupid bitch. Danny Sanchez ain't gonna arrest no Troy Zinn. They ain't gonna ever get him for not fucking paying for his planning and zoning permits. But he's a criminal piece of shit. He sells water illegally. And I strongly suspect he's the one that murdered my dog. Tecumseh. Who was a good dog. Not a dangerous sandlot dog in the, in the slightest. So the reason why I'm looking at who the neighbors are. Because I thought all the big wigs were out of there. But shit. I guess if Troy Zinn and Adam Clayton are going to bring the big wigs back. Adam Clayton, he said that he was shocked. He was like, but he got, you know, 40 years. Motherfucker, you lived right across from that bitch-ass piece of shit for five years. And he's got a little shack, and he goes here and there, so I guess he could, you know, pretend he's only here and there and what the fuck ever. But that punk-ass bitch is sitting there talking to me fucking dumb because I was being a good neighbor and I was being kind. And I pay for my permits, and I'm not a piece of shit. I don't know, I might be an asshole for the rest of my life because you motherfuckers can't defend good, nice, wholesome people. And you can't see a good family man and fucking... Celebrate them. You can't see good fucking people. And what the fuck is the matter with you motherfuckers? I want as many John Masters as we possibly can have. He's over there minding his own business, being lawful, raising his own family, getting a job. I like that. I like that. Minding his own business, making sure he's not bothering people, being lawful. I like, I love that. Oh my fucking God, do I love that. Edward C. Brewster bought his 2962 Seminole Trail property in 2005. He could have known Xanus the entire five years. The, the, the entire five years that he was living and abusing children there. Edward Brewster likes to say the N-word. He's like a Nick Valela. Edward C. Brewster met him down by the river. I was getting water in a bucket. And he was filling up his big old tank. And he said, oh, I probably shouldn't be doing this. But then he said, I remember when I was... And we talked a little bit. And basically he says he hates the fucking cops. But he also hates black folks. And I was like, well, which one is worse? And he, I think he said, I think he said black folks. And I told him that I'm not racist and I don't like that. And I, we never talked after that. And then I called him, I tried to subpoena this bitch and he was like, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> I went to subpoena him. Let me tell you about some of the subpoenas. Go to subpoena Phil Greeny. He pretends that, oh, I'm not Phil. I made him deny who he is. You're not Phil Greeny, are you? Are you Pill Peeny? Are you uh, Shill Dini? Who are you? You sure look like that fucking piece of shit. Kenny Capen bought his property in 2007. He still owns it. It says 2020, but 2023? Is that what I meant? Yeah, probably. So, 2005. So, Edward Brewster could have known the McDonald's the entire time. Kenny Capen could have known the McDonald's the entire time. Now, Edward C. Brewster has not paid for his planning and zoning permits. Kenny Capen has. So Kenny Capen actually breaks my little fucking, my theory. My theory is you come into Costilla County and you pay for your planning and zoning permits, 
then you're a lawful person. At the very least, you're given the pretense of law. At the very least, you're trying. So Kenny Capon is trying. Now, he may, I don't, I would like to know when he bought his planning and zoning permits, but let's carry on. So why would Ed Brewster think that he could just be a criminal fuck? Moves to Costilla County as a piece of shit, steals all that fucking water. He's a racist bitch. I guess Troy Zinn and Adam Clayton's okay with that racist bitch, huh? Never says shit to that motherfucker. But these are the people with no planning and zoning. So expect Troy Zinn, Adam Clayton, Ed Brewster to not comply with the law. Do they even know one single law of Colorado? Can they even say one single law in Colorado? Kenny Capon was over at Pickerel's house. As soon as he moved in, he was right there. Like he lives on Navajo Trail, but he loves to drive on Seminole and Delaware Trail. So you're all the way there at Navajo, but uh, you're driving 10 blocks. Every, it's like a fucking 10, 15 minute drive and it's on that bouncy, shitty dirt road. So he's willing to risk his muffler and ri risk his engine to drive around and hang out with people around there. Amy Harrington and Melissa Simkovitz. These are the ones that people could say the lesbians. Are, they got a brick house there. Now, they bought that neighboring property, the brick house by the edge of the Rio Grande Gorge in 2008. So they could have known them. Kenny Capon could have known the McDonald's the entire time. Melissa and Amy could have known the McDonald's the entire time. Edward C. Brewster, Adam Clayton. They didn't know them. They didn't know them. Kim Wood and Michael Gonzalez. I wonder if they knew him too. That'd be interesting. Hey, Michael Gonzalez, did you know the McDonald's right there or out there? Kim Wood, do you all ever notice any fucking weirdness? Troy and Marcy, Marcy Zinn bought their property in 2010. Troy testified to knowing all of them. Bruce Doucette, Vince Edwards. Not Roger Marsh, but he's like Roger, Roger Peanuts. Like he was happy to say that he knew all those people and that he was okay with being a Nazi, part of the right-wing sovereign movement. He's happy being a Nazi. Yeah, he, he saved $2,000 not having to pay that stupid bitch, Susie Lucero. And that bitch, Susie Lucero and Soda Cruz, will never get a dime from Troy and Marcy Zinn. Because they can only fuck over good, honest people that uh, voluntarily pay for their taxes. The ones that are skirting, you know, if planning and zoning cared about money, go after the illegal motherfuckers. Basically, if you're going to use Seminole Trail as an example, are people paying for their planning and zoning? Are we paying for their planning and zoning? Are, are we actually enforcing planning and zoning evenly across the board? We're not, are we? We're only fucking over the good people? Well, shit, that's why you got all those fucking crime. That's why you got so many fucking criminals. Because when you go to Susie Lucero and she steals your fucking money and treats you like shit, then you're thinking, well, shit, everybody must be obeying planning and zoning. Look how big of an authoritarian piece of shit she is. I mean, everybody must have she. She wouldn't act like that just to nice people, would she? Soto Cruz is friends with Troy Zinn. So, yeah, I guess Troy will get away with it, right? Soto Cruz doesn't have the fucking balls to arrest Troy Zinn. He will never arrest Troy Zinn. Man, Troy Zinn's a Nazi. Troy Zinn, I mean, they, uh, that fucking Vince Edwards and Bruce, they were like shooting and shit. Nick, number two, told me that Troy Zinn told him that Troy's son burned down the McDonald's house. I don't know, Jason, Kevin. Oh, so you're burning down houses. You're uh, selling water illegally. You're doing arsons. What other crimes? And you owe $2,000 worth of planning and zoning permits to the taxpaying citizens, the taxpaying citizens of Costilla County. Interesting. R.I.P. Tecumseh. Tecumseh was such a good dog. God, he adored me. He loved me. He ran me like, like a dog. He ran me like a dog. But if there's going to be anybody who tells me what to do, it would just be my wife and kids. That's the only people I'll ever fucking submit to. Don't tread on me. Nick Valela, Box 971, Antonito. He bought his 1155 War Eagle Trail property in 2012, and he still owns it today. Nick is the first house set up on the left-hand side of Seminole Trail. Many folks stop in and ask him for directions. 2012, he could have known the McDonald's. He did.